Am I thinking what you're thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you dare me? Do you dare me? Do you dare me? <laughs> I checked with the property committee first. It won't hurt the floor. Okay. Now, before I do ride, and you want to have a chance to ride too, don't you? Yeah. Before I do ride, I, could, I couldn't do this if we had the carpet down, could I? It, it, I could probably push through it, but it wouldn't be as, I'm anticipating, smooth sailing as this. You can't do this unless you have a good subfloor. So I want to talk about subfloors this morning. Under the subfloor, we have, we have some planks. We'll call that the foundation. And as Christians, we believe that Christ is our foundation. But as Christians, we got to put down a really good subfloor. We can make sure that our lives are nice and smooth and allow us to travel. You try that out? You're sure this is a good idea. If this goes sideways, Kate, it's Cole's fault. Ooh, take that corner, take that corner. Charlotte, Kate, you want a chance to try this? Right, middle-aged man gets applause, try and beat that. Look at how smooth that is. Look at how smooth that floor is. Yeah. Isn't that great stuff that if you tried without the minister's permission, you'd get in trouble for from your dad. Nice, Charlotte, you give it a, give it a run. Look at that. Think you make it all the way around the back? I'll time you. All the way around the back? Yeah, go for it. Because the kids at the back want to see it too. So go ahead and have a seat, Kate. And I'll have a seat too. Thank you. So kids at home also, uh, I'm sure that you're watching and this really is as much fun as it looks. We need to make sure that over top of the foundation that we have in God, that we make sure that we're building a good life so that there's things that we can do, have fun, live a life that serves God. I'm pointing to the subfloor now because the rest of us, here's what, here's what I'm asking you to be prepared to do next week. Next week is the last week that the subfloor will be exposed. You're going to have the opportunity next week to sign your name on the floor, adding the initials of someone you know who's no longer with us in this congregation, or a loved one who's no longer with us. So that after the, the carpet and the under padding goes down, we'll be reminded whenever we come onto this carpeted floor that there's something beneath it something about our lives and a foundation beneath it. So next week, I haven't figured out how it's going to happen, but we'll have some, some Sharpies here. And if you feel comfortable just getting all the way down, you can sign. If you don't feel comfortable, we'll have some labels. You can sign it and somebody will put it down or if you really want to get the kid in you going, we're going to have some hand paint, and you can put your hand in the paint 
leave your hand impression, sign your name, and again, which I think is perhaps the most important part, the initials of someone you know is no longer with us, but is part of the ongoing subfloor of this congregation. Okay? You willing to do that? Because this is the last... Where, where'd you go? Where's, where's Elgin? Will you stop moving? Because <laughs> I, I asked Elgin. I said, we, we won't get a chance to see the subfloor for another... 60, 70 years. And I said, what is the guarantee on this? And he said, he said, lifetime guarantee on the floor. So let's leave our mark on our foundation. Thanks, kids.